So hey what's up guys Harshay and back with another video so guys in this video I'm going to show you I'm going to very quickly show you that how you can install the latest and probably the greatest iOS 13 on your iPhone 7. So guys this method works for all the devices from iPhone SE to the iPhone XS Max. So guys as you can see currently I'm on the iOS 12.4. Uh, wait, I'll just show you. So guys, as you can see, currently I'm on the 12.4 version. I am on the 12.4 because this device is jailbroken device. And as you can see, this right here is the jailbroken iPhone 7. So guys, by default, if you go into your settings app and you try to update your device, you won't get any update right over here. This is because this device is jailbroken. So guys, this thing keeps loading forever. And guys, now let me just quickly show you that how you can install the iOS and as you can see here you go uh, so here is an error alright guys so before beginning I want to tell you guys one thing so guys I highly recommend you guys to take a backup of your data so guys I was unable to perfectly restore my uh, perfectly update my device to iOS 13 so guys I had to restore my device I certainly hope you understand what is the difference between restoring your iPhone and updating your iPhone so updating your iOS means you don't have to delete your files that are already present on your device but guys restoring your iPhone to the latest iPhone uh, iOS 13 this means that you'll have to delete all the files that are present on your iPhone 7 or any whichever iPhone you are using and update so I highly recommend you guys to uh, take a backup of your data before beginning all right so now let's just quickly get started so guys for this you need to head over to your computer and for this you need to have the latest version of iTunes installed on your laptop all right guys so I'll leave the link in the description for the latest iTunes as well and guys you need to download this file this IPSWME file so guys as you can see this file is the iOS 13 file so I downloaded this file from a site called IPSW.me I'll again I'll leave the links in the description for the website as well so you can go and download this thing so guys now you need to connect your USB to your iPhone device and I'll just show you here we go so guys when you are here on this screen you need to click on update and guys you need to hold the shift key and click on update so guys if you don't hold the shift key then it will start so guys if you don't hold the shift key then the iTunes will download the latest file I mean the iTunes will download the IPSW file for your iOS 13 uh, obviously in this case we have already downloaded that file the IPSW me file that's why I pressed the shift key and guys now as you can see it took me to my file manager and guys as you can see now I can select this file so this right is the iOS 13 file for my iPhone 7 and guys as you can see this the size of this file is 3.67 gigabytes and I'll just click on open and guys okay so I don't have the latest version of iTunes installed so let me just quickly do it okay guys so I now have the latest iTunes installed on my laptop and now let me just quickly do all those steps again okay so as you can see on the top it's coming like a uh, status bar is running and as you can see it's saying extracting software so we'll probably have to wait for a couple of minutes alright guys so now it is asking for the password on my iPhone device and here I Alright guys, so as you can see, preparing iPhone for software update and my iPhone just restarted. So I'll place my right iPhone right over here because I cannot hold it for a very long time. And I'll just let you see both of these screens at the same time. Alright guys, so finally I am on the iOS 13, my phone restarted and guys, here I am. As you can see, the software version is iOS 13. So guys, it took me a very, very, very long time to update to iOS 13. So guys, my device went in a boot loop situation and I was unable to update it. Uh, so that's why I had to restore my file. So guys, I highly recommend you guys to keep a backup of your data. Because guys, I've seen a lot of articles about the iOS 11 on the iPhone 7 that, uh, I'm sorry, the iOS 13 on your iPhone 7 that it gets in a boot loop situation. And guess, yes, and guys, yes, I faced the same situation. So guys, make sure to create a backup of your device. So guys, as you can see, the update happened successfully. But guys, the only problem is that I was not able to update perfectly my I to iOS 13. I had to restore my device. So yes, guys, this means I lost all of my files that were present on my iPhone device so guys as you can see here we have quite a lot of cool features which I will cover in the next video so guys before be, uh, so guys now maybe you know how to update your iPhone 7 to the latest and greatest iOS 13